Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the 2D menu inside of Synthesis VR. So the first thing you'll notice, without the menu, you could, and if you have set up Steam VR Home, move around. But regardless of where you are, you can press the Steam VR menu and that will bring up the Steam VR menu, which we are integrated inside of. And inside of that, you can see I've got two categories, the main category and a second category. And if I click on the main category, you can see I can see two subcategories. Inside the first subcategory, I've got a variety of games. And of course, I will have a different set of games in the other subcategory. By clicking on the game, I can see a trailer of the game and I can play now. For the moment, we're just gonna go back a couple times to the beginning and again, see our main category and our second category. Now, if I click on that second category, I can see all the different games. And if I want to start a game, I just click on it and that will play trailers and allow me to play now. Uh, going back, takes me back to the main section again. Now these menu buttons up here allow some also additional features. If I clicked into a category, for example, I can click the back and that will take me back a step for each click. Now I'm at the main point there. If I wanted to search, I can just click on the search field and start typing in the name of the game that I want to search for. For example, ARI, that will start searching for Arizona Sunshine and take me right there once it's found the game. This is the only match for that. Now, if I click on the session button up there, this is primarily only for customers or when you have your, set, your account set up so that customers can start their own sessions or extend them. Uh, this particular account is not set up that way, so I can't see much information there. The next button is going to be a call for assistance. So if you click that, you'll be alerted at your operator uh, station, at your operator desktop there. And then you have the option to play the tutorial. It's the Steam VR tutorial, so that will take them out to the Steam VR tutorial, and that is an option you can set, of course. Now, let's say I want to start a game, so we're going to go into the main category, the main subcategory, go into abode, and click play now. And that will load up the game for the customer. And we'll see what happens once we've loaded up the game. Once the game is loaded up, let's say at some point they want to change the game. They press that Steam button again, that brings up the Steam menu, and they can dig in if they want or continue to search, and they can find a game that they might want to switch to. And once they find a game, if they change their mind, all they have to do is press the button again, the Steam button again. And they don't have to leave the game, they can just continue to play. But now let's say they want to change. So they find the game they want to play, click on Play Now. It of course ends the game that they're currently playing and starts loading the game that they want to change to. And at this game, the game is at this point rather the game is loaded, and they can bring up the menu again and continue to explore while the game is in the background. They don't have to commit to that. They can just click on any of the buttons or any of the games, see if they want to play, change their mind, keep playing the game that they're currently playing. They never have to leave the game at all. Keep in mind you're not being tracked when the menu is up. So once they're ready to change, they can just bring up the menu again, click on play now and they can continue to play. Or rather, they can change the game to a different game and continue to play that. Now, one thing to note, when they bring up the menu, they can, of course, see the time they have left, and they can check that whenever they'd like, regardless of what game they're playing. Additionally, when they bring up the menu, the buttons on the bottom, all of them, were whatever you might have there, uh, will always take them back to the games menu for synthesis. They will not be able to dig into the other menus, whether you have settings or no settings set up or not. The one thing they can potentially change is the volume, and they could recenter their position, but rarely do people choose those. And that's pretty much it. That is the 2D menu in a nutshell, all the different things you can do. Keep in mind there's a bunch of other customization that they can do, including the images underneath the categories, as well as the game images as well. If you'd like to learn more about those, send us an email to info at synthesisvr.com. Thanks very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.